<laughs> What's up, people? It's uh, Whoopi from Welsh Gaming, and this video will take you step by step on exactly what to do how to take your Zeus and Republic Gamer G20 uh, case and all that apart, what to do inside, what screws to take out, and I'll take it from step to step till eventually until you want to change either like the hard disk, the RAM, the CPU, optical drive, basically everything and anything, uh, GPU inside, um, this video will pretty much cover everything. Right then, uh, part two is taking off the top case and simply on the one side you'll see a little notch put something under like a screwdriver or a finger and pull up the side case and or the side will just clip off as it, you're clicking as it comes off so you take the case off the top you'll notice there's a, a sort of small screw you need to just unscrew that and it's as simple as that that's pretty much the top of the case done for you um, you don't need to do anything else. When you pull the case and off, uh, the, the little plastic off, it will click. So don't worry about that. Okay, that's the top. Okay, the um, the next part is quite easy. We just got the machine. I've literally turned the machine upside down so it's facing downwards. And right in the centre is a little warranty sticker. Underneath that warranty sticker is one screw. So you just need to sort of. Uh, push the warranty sticker which invalidates warranty of course uh, and just need to take that screw out and once you take the screw out that's all you need, to, you need to, that's all it holds the side case to the actual sh chassis itself and it's as easy as that for the side case with the top oh. right guys well the next part is pretty tricky uh, it's quite hard for me to do with with one hand um, and that is to take the side case and slide it off the machine itself so once you've taken the top and the bottom screw off once so you've taken the bottom and the top screw off you need to then pull the case to the side and it's quite tricky for me to do one hand you need to get two hands on it and you just need to push across and as it clicks it'll click and that's pretty much off you just grab the case you turn the case over be careful because there's two wires in and that's for your lights within the case and again it was quite tricky to, with one hand so if you've got two hands you'd be fine uh, you just need to unplug them so both the little plugs pull them both out as for both the lights um, in this, your case on the one side um, and on the top I, I think I'm not sure 100% where they are so if you notice I had to use my both hands to actually unplug it and that's the top case off itself right okay once you've got the case off the top itself put it to, put this top case to the side next job you're gonna do is remove the side plate okay there's three screws which hold the that red plastic uh, cover on the back so there's one on the side <clears throat> there's also one in the center which I'll point to and then on the opposite side there'll be another screw itself take all three screws out I've, I've done this pre ready just to save a bit of time and it just simply slides off and that's the the back casing for the for the, for the computer right once you've removed the back casing the next job to do is to actually remove the cage itself which holds the GPU now on um, there's two screws which hold the actual cage in so there's the first screw which I'm pointing to on the, the on the one side and the other screws on the other side Again, as we take the two screws out, it's just a matter of, of getting a tidy grip on it. If you've got two hands, brilliant. I was using one hand, and it just it pulls up, and that pulls the entire cage out, which just has the GPU, your graphics card, lay that to the side, and that's the next part. Let's move on to the next next part. Right, okay. The next job to do is to actually remove the cooler above the CPU. So there's two screws which you need to remove I'll point the one there's the one there which I'm pointing with my finger at the moment on the left side on the other side there would be another screw roughly around with where I'm pointing at there's also one at the back and also the other side this bar when actually just pull off the bar with us it just holds the uh, the cooler down um, the next job is to actually lift the cooler itself 
and be careful there's two plugs and plug these will be labeled on the motherboard as a CPU cooler pick that up and it lifts up and that gives you access to see where the CPU and the RAM and how the, the cooler pipes come around and how much it covers the RAM so it's, it's a very important part to actually do this uh, to actually move on to the next step and as I'm pointing there are four screws which holds the actual CPU down on the block okay so the next step will be for the optical drive right okay the next job to do is to actually remove the optical drive so uh, there's one screw which I'm pointing out as you can see in the center pull the SATA cable and the power cable out right now and it's just as simple of pushing your finger and pulling the optical drive out it's as easy as that to remove and to put a brand new one in if it's necessary you have to do and that's how you take that step right guys um this is the next tricky part and as taking the cpu screws out um and actually getting the actual cooler up so i'll sh show the video and we'll go from that um the front two screws you got to first remove the black tape okay just pull the black tape off completely as you notice and on the top of that cooler if you pick up that will completely remove take that away because it's uh, don't need it for the moment and if you look at that you can easily get access to the two screws on the front of the CPU so you can actually take those two out and on top of the cooler is two holes through the cooler now you put you can put your screwdriver through there and they would actually take off the two in the back so once you turn what you remember to take off it tighten it off in each corner a little bit at the time so corner to corner to corner to corner a little bit at the time until it's loosened off and the next video I'll show what to do okay in this video I'm just going to show you um, how to remove the cooler itself remember what I said in the last video to actually um, when you undoing the screws on the CPU to do each corner this will take a little bit less stress of the CPU itself and stop it from breaking in the corner so there be one screw at the very back which you just need to take off other that holds the, the, the cooler in place once you've undone all four screws in the corner it pretty much just just lift up the actual cooler itself should so lift up and then just simply pull out and it should just come out of place and that's how easy enough the actual cooler comes out uh, don't forget when you're actually applying when you're putting a new CPU in you notice on the top there is what we call silver which is what you need to reapply when you put the new CPU in um, because if you don't put any silver on top this will cause overheating and, and damage your chip in the, in the long run and you could pretty much see how, we, how it is easy it is to actually put a brand new chip in um, so I got a big big thanks to a person I'm gonna put in the comments below on helping me know how to actually do all this so right okay so I got a thanks to the person who actually posted telling me how to actually do this and uh, it was easy enough once I found out what to do um, most of my videos cover how to remove the hard disk how to remove in this video I'll just show remove the optical drive I'm pointing to where the SSD should be I've got a video on that um, th this video then still covers the um, how to do the CPU how to change the RAM it, it covers a lot and I gotta thank that person who posted in um, who commented and showed me how to do it and that was I'll, I'll, I'll take a picture of the actual um, cooler itself and I'll show you the two holes which are the two basically uh, that are at the back of the CPU so there's the two at the back and I'll show you how to actually pull the screwdriver through and you know loosen them off and the front two can easily get accessed and the, the cooler can then lift up and pull out the way it was easy enough just watch the video before and you'll see how that's done so I hope you enjoy this video uh, don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. All right, bye now. Now, you
shall see.